Hi everybody, I wanted to walk through the specifics of what a DELSI is and how it's used and the local significance of it. Here we have R1, R2, and R3. This little line right here represents a PVC, as does that one, a permanent virtual circuit given to us you know given to us from a service provider it's wonderful actually they don't give them away they made us pay for it so we purchased a PVC when they handed it over to us these two PVCs they said good luck and we said oh before you go how do we um, what's the labeling for these PVCs and they said oh we almost forgot to tell you the label for this PVC between R1 and R2 from R1's perspective it's gonna have a label of 102 say great so anytime R1 needs to forward traffic down the PVC that ends up at R2 he's gonna use the on-ramp called 102 they also told us that the other end of this PVC just like you know garden hose has two ends this PVC has two ends from R2's perspective the identifier for that same PVC the one that goes bi-directionally between R1 and R2 from R2's perspective the Del C number is 201 so anytime R2 needs to forward traffic to go to R1, it needs to use the on-ramp, if you will, of Del C201, and that's it. Now, could those Del C numbers be the same? Yeah, they could. The service provider could have used 222 up here and 222 down here, but what the fun is that when we're trying to learn how it really works? So don't be confused. It's a locally significant identifier of a PVC. And the same thing happens over here from R1 to R3. R1 wants to go to R3, the on-ramp is 103 from R1's perspective. R3's perspective, that same PVC that goes between R1 and R3, the on-ramp is called 301. So what we need to do is set up a mapping, a layer 3 to layer 2 mapping. It goes like this. On R2, we would say this, Dear Mr. R2, if you want to reach the IP address of R1, which is 10.0.0.1, please use the on-ramp of Del C201. That's it. That's a frame rate mapping. It's always considering the on-ramp that leads to the final destination. So the del C we describe in our frame rate mapping is a local del C that is going to eventually end up at the remote IP address of our neighbor across that PVC. The del C is local. The IP address in that frame rate mapping is going to be the IP address at the far side. As far as uh, DELCs go, that's all we need to say. Using locally significant DELCs, that's how you pull it off. So what I'd like you to do is take a moment, pause this if you would, and jot down these three routers, the interfaces that we're using, the IP addresses that we're using, and the DELCs that we're using. Why? Because when we configure this in a few moments here, I want you to make sure you can see exactly the relationship as we put in the configuration so we don't get lost in the woods. So take a moment, jot down the topology or screenshot it, whatever you want to do. When you're done, hit resume, and then we'll configure all three with frame relay and their IP addresses and the frame relay mappings. It should take less than three or four minutes. I'll see you in a moment. Okay, we're going to start at the spoke R2 in the bottom left-hand corner of your drawing that I'm sure you have, and let's give him an IP address on his serial interface and a frame relay mapping. So we'll go to in configuration mode, interface serial 0 slash 1. We'll do an encapsulation of frame relay. We'll do a no shut because nothing's going to work too well if the interface is shut down. And by default, serial interfaces are shut down. And then we'll give it an IP address of 10.0.0.2 because that's what we had in our drawing. And then we'll do our frame relay map. Now check it out. Our IP address is 10.0.0.2. And the frame relay map is instructions of how to reach the neighbor at the far side at R1's 10.0.0.1. The syntax would go something like this. Dear Mr. Router, <laughs> to reach the IP address of 10.0.0.1, that's the hub, use the on-ramp, the locally significant DELCI that we've been given of 201. And that's it. If we did a do show frame relay map, there's our frame relay map right there. And it basically says to get to 10.0.0.1, let me get rid of that little uh, cursor there, use Del C201. And that's it. Now it's showing as inactive at the moment because we haven't configured R1's side of this yet. As soon as we get R1 going, it'll be happy, happy. So let's go to R1. He's the hub. Let's configure him. Configuration mode, interface serial 0 slash 1. 
encapsulation frame relay, a no shut on him as well, IP address of 10.0.0.1. And now he has two PVCs to use to reach R2 and R3. Well, one for R2 and one for R3. So, so he has two local DELCs, DELC 102 and DELC 103, that have been provided by our service provider. So we need to map DELC, the DELC that goes to the PVC down to R2 and the IP address in the DELC that goes down to R3. So it's frame map IP as opposed to IPv6 or IPX or Apple Talk or anything else. And we want to map the address of 10002 to the DELC of 102. That's the DELC locally that if we send information down that pipe, it'll end up at R2. And we're also going to do one for R3. To reach 10.003, use DELC 103. So if we do a show frame relay PVC 102, take a look at this. So here's the command show frame relay PVC 102. And I get that little cursor out of the way. It's showing that it's active. It's associated with serial 0 slash 1. It also shows that we have, um, wow, there hasn't been a lot of traffic flowing through there. Let's try a ping. Let's do a ping to 10.0.0.2. Now, what should happen is, because of our frame relay mapping that's in place, this router should say, oh, to reach that address, I'm going to use my serial 0 slash 1 interface, because that's what the routing table says. That's the 10 network. But this frame relay mapping that we just created a moment ago says, oh, and by the way, we're going to stick that information onto DELC 102, which leads down to R2. So we'll do a ping. We get a response. Life is good. Let's go ahead and configure R3. He's the spoke on the bottom right. So on R3, config T interface serial 0 slash 1, encapsulation frame relay. And then we'll specify an IP. I'll do a no shut to get him going. IP address is going to be 10.0.0.3, just like that. And we need, we need a frame map to get it back up to the hub. So frame map. Here's our options for frame relay mappings. You can map all kinds of stuff. We're just focused here and for IP, but there are other options as far as mapping layer three to layer two. So we're going to frame relay map IP and the IP address of the hub of 10.0.0.1 to reach him, use the local DELC of 301. That's it. Then we do a show frame relay map. There it is. It says to get to 10.0.0.1 specifically, use DELC 301. That's our on-ramp, again, the locally significant on-ramp to go ahead and get there. And that's it. Let's see if we can do a ping. We'll do a ping of 10.0.0.1. And that works great. So from the hub's perspective, this is on R1. He's got two mappings. And we do a show frame relay map. And those two mappings are present because we hard coded them. So this discussion was intended to focus on the locally significant DELCI and how a router uses it as an on-ramp identifier to reach a remote device. I hope you enjoyed it. I appreciate you listening, listening and uh, have a great time with all of your studies. Thanks, everybody.